Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Moongoddess Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And this is your weekly reading from the 31st of July till the 6th of August. And uh, we are going to find out about the theme of this week first with the archetype Oracle. Um, we are in a very exciting time now with this week. Uh, the Lion Gate portal has opened. Uh, the spiritual sun series is aligning with the earth. You can connect with that light, uh, download uh, light codes, cosmic healing from above. Um, also, Venus is in retrograde. Uh, asking you to connect with your heart and Chiron, the asteroid is in retrograde, the wounded healer, asking you to look at what you can heal. So these two retrograde, um, well, one is planet, one is a planet, the other one is an asteroid, are asking you to uh, examine what you still need to heal and look into and I know so many of you are like I have healed so much stuff I have been working on myself for decades I am fed up with needing to work more well the healing is for this lifetime so you are progressing it's not like you are being sent back to the beginning you are just going to deeper and deeper layers to uncover what is there to heal still our soul is very complex we have lived many past lives so there are lots of stuff which we need to sort out still or could be lots of stuff the energy for this week is the desert so it's like you feel completely overwhelmed in some way uh, covered by the sand in the desert which is hot in the morning or during the day and cold at night and you are like hello I am here can someone just pull me out of here because I am I am not feeling so good uh, buried under it could be buried under at work it could be buried under with your by your emotions in um family matters in love so it could be lots of different things the desert is a place which is not abundant in nurturing elements like water or food or even shelter so it's like your basic needs are not met which is a big problem so you have to address them you have to help yourself to get out of that hole uh, I'm going to put it here. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, yeah, that's important. You need air, food, shelter, sleep. Definitely to feel um, nurtured and good in your physical body. Right. Um, so let's see what clarifiers we can find for this from the Golden Tarot. So the theme of the week is the desert, too hot, too cold, too much because you are not sheltered, dealing with the elements. Okay, let's see. What is it in love and at work about? Temperance reversed, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups at the bottom. The Knight of Cups is about, it's like an oasis in the desert. You need to love yourself in the right way. I know some of you again are fed up with me saying, I need to love myself. How do I do that? Well, most people are having nice baths, going out for a cake, a coffee with the friends. All good. These are part of the self-love routine, but there is so much more about self-love than that. You must connect with your heart center because that is a very deep multidimensional place. And that connects you back to source because you are connected to source at all times. Just a tiny part of your soul incarnated with this body. So you must find that unconditional love for yourself to nurture yourself. There, the temperance is about um, being um, balanced. 
in with things um this time it's reversed so you are definitely definitely out of balance because it's too much of this too much of that so um it's it's too much that's that's the key here too much that's what spirit giving me six of pentacles um working on things i'm not sure yet how it's tying in with that energy Well, we will need more, can't even say that, clarity on this. Um, so let's look into love first. What is this temperance reversed about in love? Temperance reversed in love. What is that about? We've got the Ten of Swords. So it's like uh, you have been stabbed so many times, attacked so many times. Um, you are on the floor. You can't even move anymore. You are uh, petrified even to move because you feel like you will be stabbed again. But there is the eight of wands at the bottom. So you want to talk to someone who is tilting you out of balance, who hurt you so many times in the past, yet you are drawn back to them. Why? What, what do you want to talk about? Waiting, okay. That you have been waiting patiently for them. Okay, what else do you want to talk about? That you feel you are soulmates, there is a soul contract between the two of you, and you don't wait anymore. So they have to do something if they want to be with you, because if they are not interested, you are moving on. You, you are done waiting. Okay, that makes lots of sense. Now, let's ask about this Eight of Pentacles in love. <laughs> you are working on trying to make a decision what to do should I wait should I not should I be who I am should I just still wait for this person and then work it out together you want to make progress but you are tired and buried under right now okay so this one comes with the king of pentacles at the bottom so you are trying to focus on work whilst you are trying to make a decision about this person and the connection with them and you are expecting someone who is like the king of pentacles to be with you and it's really a question you are asking your love interest are you going to commit? Are you going to be that king of pentacles I am looking for? Because if you don't want to be, I am off. I am going for what I need, what I want. Okay, if this is a work situation, you could be in a position where you were taking, swallowing lots of things you were the bigger person you didn't try not to take it uh, personally but they kept doing the same thing over and over again so now you are going to say something about this you have waited enough it could be that you didn't get promoted and everyone else did in the meantime and again, number seven is showing up, could be seven months, seven years, you have been waiting. And interestingly, the, the chariot is number seven. So you are like, if, if things are not changing here, I'm going to find a new job. I am going to go somewhere else. 
And uh, this eight of pentacles, meaning that you are trying to decide whether you should wait because you invested lots of energy and effort in this job, in this workplace. Um, maybe it gives you um, some kind of comfort, um, stability, but you really are trying to do something that you love doing because this is like uh, selling your soul. Uh, kind of situation interesting all right so let's see what other challenges are showing up for this week in love and at work what challenges are showing up in love and at work for this week it's time quit hiding that's very much it. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head. The bottom of the deck is the money tree for the challenges. So this is self-worth, self-esteem, knowing what you want and knowing that you deserve more. Um, quit hiding. Self-explanatory. Focus on what you love and step out to the limelight. And not seeing the wood for the trees. Um, you are too zoomed in to the situation. So you need to zoom out to see things from a different perspective. And then you will see your options. So it really resonates with the love side where you need to say your truth. You need to ask this person directly. Do you want me or not? Do you want this connection? What are you doing? And um, at work as well. Now, not seeing the wood, wood for the trees. That's an interesting energy. And I am looking into that. Abundance is available to you. So money is going to come. But you need to make those changes. You need to stand up for yourself. So let's ask about it, this. Um, it's time to quit hiding first. And then we are moving on to the woods. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So this person in love who you are dealing with, you thought they will be a part of your life for a long time. That could be a long-term connection between the two of you. You were convinced about this and now you are finding some clarity about this situation. So that is you need to walk away. Because nothing happened. They didn't deliver what they promised. The bottom of the deck is the word card. So yes, it is time for a brand new beginning. And at work, you were promised lots of money, lots of um, progress financially. And now you realize, well, then it might be some money I am selling my store for. But I really want to do something that I love doing. And uh, I am just trying to, to get away from here now and find what I truly deserve. What is the wood? Not seeing the wood for the trees. We've got the justice card with the uh, star card. <laughs> so I feel that You are so, but well, sometimes we could be so loyal, Virgos, that we feel uh, we need to deliver our promises. We can't leave people behind, but you realize you need to stand up for yourself to get what you deserve and go for your wishes. So it's a big shift when you zoom out of that uh, previous energy and um, the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. Um, so I feel that you want to put more work into yourself and truly get what you deserve. Um, in love, it could be that um, 
you were waiting for your person to get divorced and you realize it's not happening. It stayed a wish. It didn't become a reality. At work, you are cutting your losses and, um, and going to find a different job, a different company, different team where you can be rewarded for your true worth. Okay, so that sounds beautiful. All right, now what I'd like to do is your person in love is not showing up. Surprise, surprise. It's almost like they already left. Just forgot to tell you. They checked out. Definitely they are quiet. It's like a, a separation, no contact. Let, let's just go through quickly who you could be dealing with. So you've got Sagittarius, Cancer, um, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius so far. Uh, so they do feel they checked out. They, they feel like that. I'm going to check this Eight of Cups for them. Let's look into your person. Ace of Wands revert. Okay. Two of Cups. They do love you. This is a mutual love. So many times you guys ask me, does he love me? Does she love me? They can love you and still don't want to commit to you. So it may be comforting to know that they love you, but it doesn't mean that they are going to take action on this. Lots of cards reversed. I'm going to turn this back because it only turned around because of my hand got caught in there. So Ace of Wands. Um, Wheel of Fortune, and then we've got the page of Wands reversed and the page of Pentacles reversed. So what I feel about your person is they don't want to apologize. Maybe they don't feel sorry for what happened to the with the two of you. Um, Maybe um, they are hoping that um, you are going to reach out to them, take responsibility for your side. And then they may and apologize. I feel they are feeling very hurt. And they want you to reach out. They want you to apologize. And then they might just be willing to um, continue with you. Not sure why they think you need to apologize. Um, the Wheel of Fortune showing up is another Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you, you broke up with them. And they took it as... Um, losing a battle um, they are focusing on their pentacles at the moment and uh, also going through a rebirth the knight of wands shows up with the ace of cups so maybe they are trying to work on themselves and uh, connecting with their emotions and expressing their emotions because this ace of cups is showing as the um, Self-love energy here. Okay. Now. It's possible that it is a third party situation you are dealing with. You wanted this very, very badly. This person. And they abandoned you. They left you in out in the cold. They left you behind. Your intuition is 
Um, is telling you to take your lessons, move on with your life. Um, you will succeed somewhere else. You need to take a leap of faith. So, um, that's what you are acting on. It could be Aquarius, Cancer, Energy, to Okay. So, your love interest is in a half. They want you to reach out. They want you to apologize. They want you to continue this, whatever it is. But you have been waiting for so long. You need to know whether they are in or out. This is the, the last chance for them. I feel that you feel that they checked out. Okay. So, let's ask the Keepers of the Light for some inspiration, motivation, guidance for this week. Serapis Bay, Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Yeah, amazing. That's exactly what you need to do. You are ready to do it. You are just trying to check uh, uh, out um, whether uh, you um, looked at every single uh, angle and you did what you could and then you can just say yeah I have done absolutely everything it didn't work so I am now moving on and it's true in uh, love and in work as well it's like checking the last time whether there will be any response to your um, crying out for help and if there is none then you are done brilliant i like that kind of feisty energy so virgo thank you so much for being here liking sharing subscribing and commenting i'm going to continue this on patreon keep looking into your person's energy and the work side and um, options possibly in there so if you would like to see that there is a link in the description box you are very welcome to join my patreon membership or you can find a one-off link there also check out my website spiritual-wonders.com and my tiktok account i can't wait to connect with you take care bye for now